Welcome back to the channel. This is week two of our 10K and half marathon training plan. So if you haven't watched week one, I'll give you some time to click on that link and go back to it. Week one was all about setting good patterns, creating good habits and creating consistency. Whereas week two is gonna be about intensity and making sure that you get the right intensity in your sessions for you, dialing it in and getting it right. So first things first, if you're not subscribed, I'm gonna give you five seconds to do that because why wouldn't you wanna watch two people beast themselves in the Thailand heat for your entertainment purposes? I know I would. Okay, we done? Good. Let's start talking about week two and our training. Each of the sessions that Mary and I carried out this week were slightly different, a variation on a theme, and I'm gonna to explain to you why we did different sessions and how we did different sessions so that you can change the sessions to suit you. And we mentioned last week that we are following a four runs per week plan, and the consistent runs are Tuesday, Track Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday is a recovery run, and Sunday is our long run. However, you might have chosen to follow an undulating plan, which was the other plan that I suggested which is just running every other day so some weeks it will be three runs some weeks it will be four runs and I'm gonna again help you work out how to adapt your training to suit your needs whether you're doing the undulating plan or the consistent four weeker our week started with track Tuesday gonna be honest it was pretty grim but also pretty beneficial and you know what I'm gonna let me explain I am probably going to be able to explain what my interval is like and the rest periods whilst I'm doing it, but 400s are harder, so you're going to do it in your rest period, right? Yeah. Okay, 1,200 metres for me, 400 for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Born ready. Oh, let's go. So my first 400, so I'm planning to do seven lots of 400 meter repeats. So 400 meters going at 5K pace or just below. That was harder than I expected though. I've got 20 seconds left because I've got a 60 second rest in between each one. So I'm gonna get ready. Second rep coming up and I can tell you what the recovery is at the very start of the rep because it doesn't hurt for the first few meters at least. Here we go. Okay. So the recovery was two minutes there, double what Mary had, but it's needed because I'm running triple, just at a lower pace. So I'm actually speeding up and it's getting more and more painful, so I'm going to make a real conscious effort to dial it back a bit on this rep. This is my fourth and I'm going to aim for about 330, uh, 340s for the kilometre, because the last one was 326. Okay, guys, Ben, I've done six of my repeats. That was so hard. Um, hanging on a bit. There's one more to go, so I'll give it all I've got. And it's definitely gonna be a confidence boost the more of these I do. It's not easy, but it shouldn't be. That will do. No more. That is four reps in this heat. Oh, jeez, that is brutal. Whoa, we done. Seven, 400 repeats, done. Um, that was tough, like the last two, but I really, really focused on my technique and tried to hold the last one, and it was actually my quickest time. Yeah, felt that, but I'm gonna do a nice cool down. I'm gonna do three laps to make up my distance to 5K and do a good stretch but session in the bag building back strong so the key difference for mary and i for that session is that we were both trying to build speed but mary was trying to build more pure speed where i was trying to build speed endurance because she's training for a 10k so the 400 repeats were perfect for that whereas for me i wanted to be able to hold a speed for a longer period of time so i did 1200 meter repeats and had a longer recovery to ensure that the quality didn't dip in the session now if you're training for a 10 kilometers for the first time you may actually want to completely substitute that 
that with just a four or five kilometer easy run. If you are more experienced, then you can keep this track session in there. And if you're training for a half marathon, same thing. You may want to switch it for an easy seven or eight kilometers, or you may want to keep that track session in there. And that's entirely up to you, but I wanted to give you the options. Now, Wednesday, we took a rest day, the both of us. And Thursday is where we probably differed the most in our training. I'll let Mary explain what she did on Thursday morning. Morning. I'm out for an early morning 5K. I decided to do another base run for this week because I'm still trying to build back my fitness space. So it's good for me to run steady in heart rate zone two, which is below 164 for me. So I'm out with my running buddy. And we're enjoying a nice 5K around our neighborhood. And the reason Mary chose that is because she is still really keen to build up her base so that she can put the speed on top of it in bigger quantities later down the line. Whereas my base is pretty well established after having completed the Ironborn long distance triathlon not too long ago. Still needs some work for obvious reasons and I'll get into that later in the week, but I opted for a speed session on the Thursday as well. I wanted to see how hard I could run a five kilometers and Here's the video of that here, but here's a brief overview between the difference between Mary's session that you've just seen and mine in the afternoon. Friday I swam. Up and down, up and down, up and down. My God, it's boring, but it needed to be done. Mary didn't train Friday, took another day off before our weekend. So here's what happened on Saturday. Both of us opted for a nice, easy recovery run together because we knew we were doing a longer run on the next day and also we'd done a couple of hard sessions or I'd done a couple of hard sessions in the week. So we opted to reconnect to why we love running with this amazing run that I'm gonna share with you now. how beautiful this is and this is our Saturday recovery run it really is very easy six to seven kilometers probably for us today and it will really depend on where you are on your journey as to whether you chose to do the Saturday run or whether you picked the undulating plan of just running every other day um, I recommend for people newer in their running journey to go with the undulating plan try not to run back-to-back -back days um, but all of that information is in the first week's video. We've gone with a four run per week plan, which just means every Saturday our run is just going to be nice and easy like this. Just connecting for the love of it, the joy of it, and seeing the sights. Look at this. The benefits of this run aren't the uh, physical benefits, although there are some because having a nice easy five to seven kilometer recovery run is a, is a good way to recover and not push yourself and still get those miles in. But this is a mental benefit run, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, just loving it, seeing the sights and getting out and about. Yeah, it's connecting to the joy, which is what we always say. It's like, if you don't love it, don't do it. And you need to find a way of loving running if you want to stay in it for the long term yeah. there's going to be good and bad runs but actually connect with something like that I mean what a run that was beautiful. going to the Klong peaceful beautiful and we feel reconnected already and happy and it's set us up for the day absolutely and that was just seven kilometers of joy nothing crazy but really lovely at the same time. And if you're training for your first 10K, again, you don't need to go that far. Four or five kilometers, I would say, it's just that Mary is a slightly more experienced runner. And finally, 
our long run. This is the kind of cornerstone of all of our training. At the weekend, we're aiming to gradually build our distances in the long run. The distances that we ran are not the distances we would suggest for you if you're doing your 10K or your half marathon for the first time, but I'll explain that in a minute. And it was an amazing run because our friend John, who ran in the same athletics club as us back in Seven Oaks, moved to Bangkok at the same time as us, but just working in a different school. And he suggested that we go on a run at a place called Tamasat University, which is a huge, sprawling university campus with safe roads and some experienced runners to, to show us the ropes. And that that was amazing. This is it here. How nice is this? Started running at 6am. Sunday long run. Uh, I started with the group men and a few guys, but um, I peeled off just to go at a slower pace, building my base zone back up. This is lovely. Loads of space, there's a 5k or a 10k loop, and it's so quiet. So essentially it's my Sunday long run, and I'm aiming for about 15 kilometers, which is a step up from what I've done in the last few months. So last weekend we ran about 11 and a half, I think. So yeah, adding a bit on, Taking it a nice steady pace, trying to keep my heart rate down, which is no mean feat in this heat. So we've been running at quite a decent pace, about 4.30s per kilometre, and we're just about 17 kilometres in, but I'm now watching my heart rate drift ever high. Um, but it's been a really good run. Something, like always, we say, good for the soul. And we're just coming into the track now. We'll probably find Mary here, I thought. Oh, hello. Hi. How you doing? Good, thanks, yeah. Yeah, how was your run? I need to walk over to get a drink. Yeah, nice. Yeah? Yeah, I'm still going. I've got about another kilometre to do. Oh, okay. What are you on? 13 and a half. Well done, nice work. What are you on? 17, I'm tapping out. Are you? I yeah, yeah. to get to 15 if possible. Yeah, go for it. I won't stop you. You go. Okay. I'm super hot. Yeah, I got lost, so I ended up coming back to the track to finish off because I was too I thought you would have got there. lost. Yeah, yeah. Go, yeah, go, go. Fine, I did last lap. Well done. Last lap for Mary to get her to 15k and then she'll have done 15, I'll have done 17 and we can go back to sleep. So I ended up running 17 kilometers and Mary 15. And again, if you want to adapt that for a first time 10k, you really at this stage in week two only need to be running four or five kilometers as your long run. Half marathon wise, maybe 11 to 12 kilometers as your long run. But the most important thing here is intensity. Was this an intense stare? That was what it was, that's why I was trying to show intensity with my, no, no. Back to acting classes. You see, I want to leave you with this piece of advice for this week, and that is intensity, especially when you first start running. I would say almost exclusively new runners, if they don't have the guidance, will go out too hard in their easy sessions. And you need to get good at learning what easy actually is. Here's what I use to describe an easy session to the people that I coach. The first one is that for the first two kilometers, I would want you to exclusively be able to breathe through your nose. This will keep you starting at an easy pace and it will help then dial in the pace for the rest of the run. So can you breathe through your nose for the first couple of kilometers? Another way of thinking about it is can you hold a conversation, an easy conversation without fragmented sentences, a nice easy conversation with someone with you. That will mean that you're in the right heart rate zone. And if all else fails, you wanna be dialed in at about five or six out of 10 in terms of your effort levels. No more than that for your easy base runs. This is about building a relationship for life and also building an aerobic base, which you can't do if your heart rate is above a certain zone. And I'll link a video here or here here, I think it is, for you to be able to calculate your heart rate zones properly. So here's a quick snapshot of my entire week's training. There you go, I'm showing you on Training Peaks, which is the platform that I use to plan all of my training for myself and the people that I coach, and Mary. These are my sessions, I had Wednesday off, I swam twice, I ran four times, 
Mary did swim on the Monday but didn't take her watch but I've put it in there for you and she ran four times with one run being intense and the other three being base runs. Consistency is more important than intensity and that is the point of this video. And like I said in week one, if you have any questions about how we've structured our training or how to adapt your training for you, then make sure that you ask in the comments section. I try to reply to everybody who needs help. And if you want to learn even more and tie yourself to a longer journey in running, then consider subscribing to the channel because that is what this channel is all about helping you start running, stay running, love running, finding the joy. And by the time you see this video, I shall be another year older. It gets harder, but I'm still getting faster and I really believe I still have faster runs in me than slower. So fingers crossed, let's all get on this journey for life. See you Sunday.